Hi and welcome back to Data Integrity and Security. We are covering database security and as part of the series of tutorials, uh, we covered MySQL first, then we covered SQL Server and today we are covering installation of Oracle database which is the latest version 21C. Uh, we'll be installing it on our uh, Server 2022 which is a virtual machine uh, and you can download it from Microsoft website, a copy of Microsoft Windows Server 2022 which is the evaluation version for free for 180 days. So in order to install Oracle 21C, you'll have to download this file which is Windows 64-bit uh, uh, db underscore home. It's around 2.6 GB. That's the first file which is required. Of course, you must have an account on Oracle, which is a free account. You can sign up and then you can download the file. And the second thing which is required is Oracle SQL Developer, uh, which is Windows 64-bit with JDK 8 included, 436 MB. I'll put the link of both of these files in the description so you can download it from there. Uh, we have already downloaded the file. So uh, first of all, before starting the installation, uh, you'll create a folder in your C drive and the file that you have downloaded for uh, for Oracle 12C, you'll put it in a folder in the C drive from where we will start the installation of it. So I have copied the files already and we are starting the installation. So press the setup.exe. So that's the first interface of it. It's asking create and configure a single instance or set up the software only. So we'll go for the first option, press next. Then it's asking that if you are installing it on a desktop class or a server class, so we are installing it for the server class as an enterprise environment, it would be installed for the production in the data center. So we'll press it next. Uh, of course, since we are installing it for enterprise environment, we'll press enterprise here as well and press next. Now it's asking that use a virtual account or uh, you want to choose a username or password for the existing Windows account. We would rather go for the create a new Windows account and uh, we'll provide the credentials for that. So you can choose any username and the password and then press next. Now it's showing you the path where it would be installed. If you want to change it, you can browse and select any other path, but we are keeping it by default on the C drive. Press next, it would be a general purpose transaction processing. If you are using it for the data warehousing, you'll have to select this option, but since it's a normal installation of a Oracle database, we'll keep the first option. Then this information is very important. You'll have to note it down somewhere on a notepad file because this information will be required somewhere. So as you can see, we have copied this information on a notepad file Then press next. Now it's asking you that what's the memory size you want to allocate. Since we have eight gigs of virtual memory, we are allocating around about uh, 3 GB of uh, the memory. I'm keeping it as default. If you want to change the character set, you can click on this one, but we'll go with the default settings and press next. Now it's giving you a default path of the uh, data files. It's recommended by Oracle to put it on any other disk other than the C drive, but since it's a virtual machine and a test environment, so we keep the same path as it is. Now we don't want to register the enterprise manager to the cloud, so we'll simply ignore it. If you want to have the recovery enabled, you can select it and choose the path of it. We'll go with the default settings. Now, there are two options in this one. Either you can have different username and password for each account, or you can use the same username and password for all these accounts. As far as the security of the database is concerned, it's really important to have different passwords for all of these accounts so that in case if one account is compromised, your database is not compromised as a whole and uh, you will have extra layer of protection. So we have selected the passwords for all of these accounts, then press next. 
and it will check the prerequisites and this is the basic setup like the things which are you are going to install on your computer you can save the response file on your desktop in case if you need it later then press install it will take some time um, and then we'll continue once the installation is finished as you can see the installation is finished now this is very important to note down this piece of information as well which is the url address through which we'll be accessing our oracle 21c so we'll save it and then we'll press close so that will finish our installation now in order to access the installation that we just did on our computer related to oracle 21c we'll copy the url and we'll paste it in the browser uh, go to advanced and proceed to oracle it would load the oracle interface on our computer now in order to log in we'll provide the password as sys and the password that we provided at the time of installation and press login And that's the basic interface of our Oracle 21C. It's showing you the services, uh, containers, and activity of it, plus rest of the relevant details about the database itself. That's as far as the installation of Oracle is concerned. Now we'll be installing the Oracle SQL developer. And just like we did for SQL Server installation file, We'll copy the file of developer in C program files and we'll create a folder over here called SQL developer and we'll copy the files in this folder. Once the files are copied, you'll double click on SQL developer. And if you want, you can create a shortcut of it on your desktop as well. Then we we'll close it. It's loading SQL developer. It would give you a warning. Would you like to import the preferences from the previous SQL developer? We we'll press no. And that's our first interface of SQL developer. You can press OK over here. Now, in order to connect to our Oracle 21C, you'll press on this plus icon and then you'll provide the details here. We'll name it, for example, Oracle, and then we'll provide the username as sys, and make sure you're selecting sysdba from here, and then we'll provide the password that we provided at the time of installation. Once that's done, now you'll have to change this thing, which is an express addition for SID from the file that we copied earlier so you'll have to copy SID from here and change XE to ORCL once that's done then test the connection so if you'll press it it would show you success that you have successfully verified the details now you can either save it or simply connect to your Oracle 21c and as you can see, that's the query builder. And if you click over here, you'll be able to see the tables and rest of the details. So that's all about our Oracle 21C installation and Oracle SQL developer. So that's how we manage the things on Windows Server 2022. That's it for today. Thank you very much.